everyone and welcome back to a new episode on the V Made today. Guys, um first of all before I start with this episode, um I wanna thank you all. I mean I just hit the three hundred subscribers and a couple of days ago. And yeah, it's just amazing. Like um even though I don't upload that many videos, you know, just from time to time. Um thank you very much, you know, for subscribing to my channel. And yeah, let's jump right in. So today what I want to show you is how I installed my beautiful LED lights. Um, one in the back and the other one here in the kitchen. Um, yeah, so let's go. So first of all, I just want to give you <clears throat> a quick tour. So I have one in the back. Uh, how can I show you this? Right behind here, you can barely see it. Um, it's super, uh, can I, hold on, ah, oh, there you go, so it's, I have this little kind of space in between here, so I put it behind this, so I have a, like a kind of ambilight light, and yeah, I love it, so now I have the, the opportunity to, I mean, as you guys probably know, to change the colors and stuff like that. I usually prefer this warm yellow light. Makes it super comfy in here. And I have another one in here. And um, actually I'm going to show you with this example how I did it. Still have to um, do this properly here with this one. So, um, well, not the best example to show you guys. So. I'm gonna show you how I did it in the kitchen, how I got rid of the neon uh, neon lamps in there. Um, yeah, so so what what we need to do is just to cut this wire because we can just hook it up right to our into our 12 volt system because LED strips they work with 12 volts. There's nothing more we need to do. So we just need to yeah a cable and um, the only thing we need to do is to find a spot where we can hook it up to our 12 volt system inside our vents and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna show you um, my example in the kitchen now so uh, I'm gonna show you what I did and um, how you can do it as well actually it's, it's super simple so let's jump right into it so that's how it looks from the inside what i did is i got rid of the neon lamps and those starters you need for the lamps um, cleaned everything a bit up and on the other side here i connected this 12 volt the wire i just showed you in the previous video to the 12 volt system uh, of course you need to figure out which one uh, of your wires is positive and negative and then you just uh, connect the strip to your dimmer and you know I, I, I went uh, for two lines here so one bottom and one at the top so I have a bit of light and as you can see here you always have those uh, there, and those marks where you are allowed to cut the LED strip. Of course, I don't want to use five meters uh, for this one here. Doesn't really make sense. So, and that's pretty, pretty much it. What I would suggest you for this, uh, for the power connection is, um, I have those. This tool here, my my beautiful crimping pliers with uh, terminals with those. Uh, hold on. So I have those beautiful terminals um, for the wires, and then you can just crimp it. So it's a proper job, and not 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 like this over there, and. Um, yeah, you can just hook those connectors up to this end here, like I did it 
<laughs> maybe you can see that no nope, it's not sharp there as you can see one there and another one there and that's pretty much it so and the good thing about LED lights or this LED light is if I'm not in the mood for yellow light you can just jump to green blue whatever this is white so I have enough enough light if I want to cook something and you can also dim the light as you can see so and the same for the back I have um yeah my problem or my issue is I have two different lights so I have two remotes as you can see the smaller one for the back and um, the other one for the kitchen and um, well one of the problems I have this one is a bit different the receiver is in here so it's built in it's 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 not like an extra dimmer like this one here and the dimmer as well and if I use this one and accidentally uh, put it in the direction of uh, this receiver here um, yeah yeah as you can see if I press it so I press the white button for white light and what it does is yeah I know some random stuff here so if you want to install two LED strips then make sure you go for the same ones but uh, yeah I can deal with it all good and yeah like I said in the back I still need to do this probably um, but other than that I'm super super happy with the job and look at this oh yeah and don't forget I mean we're all going through hard times so if you want to party on your own you can just go for it hey guys thanks for watching and again thanks for the 300 subs and um, have a nice evening and see you next time peace out